So there's no shortage of SEO software for agencies. So how should digital marketing agencies decide what's the best bang for your buck? Well, good news. I've invested thousands of dollars into search engine optimization tools so you don't have to. So here are the best paid and free SEO tools I use almost every day in our SEO campaigns to rank higher in search results. Number one, SEMrush. I use SEMrush daily in my agency because it's a ridiculously powerful SEO platform when you know how to use it. So number one, you can use it to find low hanging fruits. Go to organic research, enter your domain, click the position filter and enter two to 15 for the keyword rankings. Then click the keyword difficulty filter and start with very easy. So at this point, you'll have a nice list of keywords to formulate an SEO strategy. So now let me show you two techniques for SEO competitor analysis, which brings me to number two, find untapped keywords. So go to the keyword gap tool, enter one to three of your top competitors and start the analysis. Then focus on untapped keywords with low difficulty. These keywords will be your quickest wins. Number three, find your competitor's backlinks. Enter your competitors into the backlink gap tool. Now you'll have access to all of their placements and backlink profiles. And the next step is to study how they've acquired these links. In most cases, the backlink checker allows you to see the types of web pages attracting these backlinks. And if you're trying to figure out how to supplement your outreach efforts, then I would highly recommend looking into Search Intelligence, who is sponsoring this video. So they're a digital PR and link building agency, and they do extremely great work. In fact, you can mess around with their filter here and see how much the investment would be to get these really powerful links. But these links are really like to build your website authority and to really stand the test of time. And you can see they've gotten links from Forbes and Bloomberg and all these powerful sites that Google really trusts. So this is, you know, it's definitely not the cheapest thing that you can do, but it's definitely gonna help you stand the test of time, help you build a link profile that's actually gonna be high quality and it's gonna have virtually no risk at all because all of these domains that they're getting links on are extremely trusted and extremely authoritative. So I highly recommend them. Just go to search-intelligence.co.uk to get started. You can also check out my free SEO training series on the SEMrush YouTube channel. And now the second best SEO tool is Ahrefs. So the first way to use it is to find uncompetitive keywords. So one of my favorite Ahrefs features is the lowest DR filter in the Keyword Explorer. You can use this filter to identify keywords where weak competitors are ranking. And one of the biggest ranking factors is overall website authority. So any keyword with lower authority websites ranking is worth pursuing. So my third favorite SEO tool right now is Rankability. It uses the latest NLP technology by blending Google's NLP, IBM Watson, and OpenAI to achieve the most relevant SEO recommendations imaginable. Rankability guides you through a two-part process. First, you'll create the SEO content brief. A brief is what a copywriter will use to craft your SEO content. It is critical and the single reason people waste money on bad content. A strong content brief sets the writer up for success, while a bad brief almost guarantees failure. So in the context of Rankability, you have two choices. First, you can manually enter the details into each field, or you can click the AI button to fill the fields automatically. Then you can just tweak it to your liking. And once you've completed the SEO content brief 100%, you need to create an outline based on the NLP keywords. Once again, you can manually create this outline, or just click the AI button, it'll automatically create an outline that's already optimized for NLP. So then all you need to do is share this link with your copywriter, and they can create the SEO content within the content optimizer with NLP in mind. And on the right hand side of the optimizer, you'll see actionable insights for optimizing the content for NLP. Use these NLP keywords as topics, creating something super relevant and comprehensive. And the last thing that stands out about Rankability is its customer support. Every Wednesday, I personally lead Rankability Mastermind Call to help every member get the most out of the tool. Now, moving on to number four, which is ChatGPT. This is one of the most revolutionary and powerful tools that have come onto the market probably in the last decade. Sadly, most people use it for pointless activities and only tap into about 1% of its true capabilities. So my favorite SEO use case is turning it into a data scientist. I create a blog post about RH1 tags, a Google ranking factor, and it was 100% possible because of ChatGPT's data science capabilities. In short, I collected SERP data across many keywords and input it into ChatGPT. It then analyzed the data set and helped me reach a conclusion that answered this 
this specific question. So there are countless ways to leverage ChatGPT in your SEO and marketing campaigns. Watch the video in the description below to learn more. And now number five is the detailed browser extension. I wrote an extensive guide on how to use the detailed SEO extension, but I use this daily. It's not designed to be a comprehensive SEO solution, but it's perfect for analyzing basic SEO issues at a glance. For example, you can quickly see if a keyword is in the title, meta description, and headings. And now moving on to number six, which is Screaming Frog SEO Spider. So Screaming Frog is the ultimate website audit tool because it allows you to crawl any website to identify technical and content opportunities. So here's how to use it for SEO audits. So connect the Google Analytics, Google Search Console, Google PageSpeed Insights, and Ahrefs APIs and run the crawl. Now you can find hundreds of SEO opportunities by doing this, but here are four high impact opportunities to look for. Number one, crawl depth. Go to the crawl depth column and look for pages that are more than three clicks deep into the site architecture. You'll need to move these pages further up into the architecture so Google can crawl and index them more easily. Number two, internal link coverage. Go to the unique in link section, look for pages that have less than five internal links. These are pages that you should look to build internal links from other relevant pages on your website. And if no other relevant pages exist, this indicates that you need more topically relevant SEO content. Number three, poor engagement rates. So go to the engagement rate column, which is the data that comes from Google Analytics 4. And in short, this metric tells you how well users engage with your content. If it's low, you know there's room to improve the page. And in general, poor UX will likely lead to poor SEO performance. And finally, identify pages with poor SEO performance. So any page with zero impressions and clicks from Google Search Console, zero traffic from Google Analytics, and zero backlinks from Ahrefs should be labeled as poor performance. And now let's move on to number seven, which is the Google suite of tools. So to fulfill our SEO services in our agency, we use the following Google products. Number one, Google search. I promise I'm not being a troll here, but Google search engine results are one of the best tools because you see in real time what's working. Number two, Google business profiles. It's the gold standard of local SEO. And it's also a beautiful way to prove the the value of your products and services through reviews. Number three, Google Calendar. So this is the best calendar app for organizing your day, sales calendars, and every business activity. I live by the philosophy that it isn't real if it's not on the calendar. Number four, Google Meet. It integrates with many other Google products and is critical for meetings with sales, product, and marketing teams. Number five, Google Voice. An accessible company phone number increases the trust and is a powerful sales tool. Number six is Google Analytics, which is is the best tool for analyzing website traffic. And now number seven is Google Tag Manager. This is one of the best ways to consolidate your tracking codes and pixels into a single snippet of code. Number eight is Google Search Console or formerly Google Webmaster Tools. And this allows you to analyze SEO data, identify technical SEO opportunities, and keep a pulse on the health of your website. You can also track rankings, but it's not super accurate. I actually recommend a dedicated rank tracker for better accuracy. And now number nine is the Google Keyword Planner, another Google tool you need in your arsenal if you're handling Google ads. It'll show you search volume and CPC data so you can make educated ROI decisions. And now number 10 is Google Sheets and Docs. My agency's SEO systems are built within Google Sheets and Docs because it's the most accessible and easy to use option for my team. It's all in the cloud so we don't need to share new files whenever a change is made. Instead, we can make real-time changes reflected in the documents and you can manage all of your SEO tasks just by using Google's free suite of tools. However, we do use Asana for more efficient project management. Number 11 is Google Slides, which is just a free tool for building SEO proposals and pitch decks. It's a solid option if you're just starting, but I use Canva now for all deck-related activities because it's more robust in design capabilities. And now number 12 is Google Gemini. I find myself using their LLM when I'm unsatisfied with the outputs from ChatGPT. ChatGPT and Gemini spit out different outputs, so using both can give you a nice blend of unique ideas when developing a content marketing strategy. And now it's time for number eight, which is Hemingway Editor. So to take your SEO content strategy and content creation to the next level, I recommend editing it with Hemingway Editor. This tool will force you to make your content leaner and easier to read. I use it to write everything, including blog posts, social media content, 
content and YouTube scripts. And then you can stack Hemingway with number nine, Grammarly. So once I've edited my SEO content, I run it through Grammarly to elevate the writing. And now no SEO tool stack is complete without number 10, Sitelighter. It's a simple tool that shows you which pages on your website suffer from duplicate content. And now number 11 is seotesting.com. So the good news is that you don't need to guess what works in SEO. Instead, you can document and test your actions to improve your search engine rankings. And that's when seotesting.com comes into play. For example, I wanted to improve my rankings for the keyword SEO for roofers. So then I just upgraded the page and ran a test with seotesting.com. And based on the data, I increased organic clicks by 627%. So now moving on to number 12, which is Hunter. So Hunter is one of my favorite SEO and marketing tools, and I use it for various activities such as content promotion, link outreach, and sales prospecting. And finally, number 13, which is agency analytics. So there are many SEO reporting tools out there, but I personally use agency analytics. It's made SEO reporting 10 times easier because it integrates APIs from Google Analytics, Google Search Console, and almost every SEO tool such as SEMrush and Ahrefs. So here's the bottom line. Digital agencies have an abundance of options when it comes to SEO agency tools. But here's the deal. A tool is only as good as the system and the person using it. So if your agency systems are lacking, you're missing out on growth right now. And the good news is that you can fix it by enrolling in Gotcha SEO Academy. We help agencies scale through proven systems. Thank you so much for watching.